everybody, welcome to a new episode of CJ Explores and this time I think you can see where we're at. Darwin! We have come down to Mindel Beach Sunset Market um, and the sun is just going down. It's looking very beautiful. We can hear some music and we can smell some food. So it seems like we're just in time. Now we have just missed the sun going down, but there is so many people down on the beach. It is ridiculous. It's crazy busy. <laughs> this is definitely 2019 vibes, if you know what I mean. Uh, lucky to be in the NT. Uh, probably one of a few places right now. Some states you definitely can't do this, but yeah. Very busy, but we can see why. The sunset was beautiful, we just missed it on the beach, but we're hoping that we'll stay here for a little bit longer and might get some nice colours. And then we're going to check out that market, because there was a lot happening there. <laughs> it was so busy too. There are so many options here, but we have gone with the trusty Sri Lankan food that has been here since 1987. <laughs> they have some vegan options. Uh, so we have got rice and three curries and a roti. And we are going to go to the music man now who's playing the didgeridoo and enjoy some music with our dinner. So this was all 19 bucks. It's really, really yummy. And we're just waiting for the next musician to come on. But yeah, it's so awesome down here. It's such really nice vibes. Oh, it's a show there with the fireman. So Darwin is full of lots of street art. Every year they have a street art festival and there's artists around the city and they do like an interactive map on an app and you can go and watch them. We just missed it, it finished earlier this month, but the street art is all still here, so we're just having a little browse and seeing them all. So there seems to be street art all over Darwin, and I think looking at the old 2021 street art map, it extends all the way out into the suburbs. And I even think, I did read online, that it goes all the way to Catherine, which is about three hours south, so lots of creatives here creating awesome, beautiful artwork for you to enjoy while you're walking around the city. We have come to Magnet, the museum and art gallery of Northern Territory. We heard there's some cool stuff in there. We're going to learn about the cyclone Tracy that demolished Darwin in the 70s and apparently there's a big croc in there called Sweetheart. In 1974 on Christmas Day, well Christmas Eve into Christmas Day, Darwin was absolutely flattened and wrecked by Cyclone Tracy. There's a whole exhibition here detailing all of it and like survivor stories and what happened. A lot of people have flown out of Darwin and yeah, it looks pretty, pretty terrible. Just a couple minutes drive away from the museum is Karma Cafe and we have been here already but we're coming back because there are some smoothie bowls that we need to try. <laughs> Vegan waffles have just come out and they have two towers of bacon and loads of sauce. It looks delicious. Look at that. I'm keen to get this inside me now. We have come to Darwin's Botanic Gardens and it looks very pretty here. We have this beautiful water feature and we're just going to have a little browse around. We just keep coming across these little lizards just chasing each other. <laughs> but Further ahead, I have seen a big crocodile and it looks like it's got a fishy in its mouth. So we've been in Darwin for a couple of days now and I 
don't know, it just feels so tropical here. It feels really like we are in Asia. Like it just, all the plants, um, loads of dragonflies about, the humidity, the heat, everything has just reminded me of like being in Thailand or Vietnam or Cambodia. Um, but it is so nice. We're really enjoying it here. Yes, it does feel humid and tropical. And just to give you an idea, a flight from Darwin to Bali is about two hours. So that's how close we are now to Indonesia and that's why we're so hot and tropical. And just looking at the map, the, the gardens is quite big and it's nearby to the Mindel Beach Market. Yeah, we're still trying to acclimatise and look very sweaty. I put sunscreen on though, so it's a bit of a shine to me. But yeah, I think like you just adventure for a little bit, go find an icon, adventure for a little bit. I mean, we're used to it from living in Brisbane and the summers there are intense and humid. But here, it's not summer, so... And apparently we've heard before wet season starts in a couple of months, uh, there's just this build-up of all this heat and we're really feeling that <laughs> the increased humidity. I think the information said that the plants around here oldest. are the oldest plants here. Yeah. And they were also in existence at the same time as the dinosaurs. Stokes Hill Wharf now. We've come here to learn about the history of Darwin in the war. So it was bombed quite a lot in World War II. Uh, the same carriers that were used to bomb Pearl Harbor bombed Darwin too. There was 188 Japanese bombers on one day that obliterated this area and it was actually the first bomb to land on Australian soil. We just found out that every year on the 19th of February, friends, family and colleagues of those who died come down here to Stokes Hill Wharf to remember those who died on that day. We've got a big ferris wheel here, but I think we shall continue. We've come to Ebb and Flow, which I believe is the first, the only uh, vegan restaurant here in Darwin. And the food is good. The food is very good. Cauliflower pakoras, chips, homemade aioli and tomato sauce, corn chips and fig granola bowl. So pretty good effort from Darwin. Well done. and it connects down to the waterfront where the ferris wheel was and we're just taking a little browse and next we're going to go check out the World War II tunnels. Okay we're at the tunnels now, 8.50 per person and it is where they stored all the fuel in World War II and now we can go and have a little walk inside. I thought that was going to be stinking hot in here but it's actually a bit cooler isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit cool, it's still humid but it's nice that we have it a little bit cool because it's very very hot and humid today. Salvage World War II wrecks, um, an aircraft and a bomb ship, and they put it together to represent uh, war heroes lost in the war. It's quite big. So it's pretty cool, there's loads of information all down the tunnel about the war efforts and just the history of Darwin too, and about the raids that happened in 1942. So there's a lot of information, you kind of hear for probably about 15 minutes reading it all, and then you just get to the end, and then you just have to turn around and make your way back to the beginning. But <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. It's definitely worth a visit. It's really interesting and I'm in a tunnel. Hey, we have come down to Darwin Waterfront now um, and this is the place to be to get in the water without fear of crocodiles. <laughs> There's a couple of options. We have a wave pool and then they have the Darwin Lagoon as well and there are some inflatables out there. Uh, we're going to go and suss it out. Also, loads of restaurants and there's happy hour at Snapper Rocks from 3 o'clock. Corey's being boring and he doesn't want to go in the wave pool. He wants to go in the lagoon. So I think we're going to have a swim in the lagoon. We might go to the wave pool another day. It does look fun, but I think we're going to have a cool down over here because we're scorching. There's fish in here. <laughs> we are in the Darwin Lagoon now and the water is nice. Perfect temperature. Um, it's kind of like a lukewarm bath. Um, it is salt water. It is pumped in from four different pumps located around the outside. Um, so it's water pumped in from 
um, the ocean. And we also have an aqua park here, which is $20 per person, I believe. You like uh, that? Yeah, perfect. But this is really nice, I guess, compared to Brisbane. Brisbane isn't salt water. So I still here. It's not a stinger season, but it is from the end of next month. So it still makes me a little bit scared that the stingers in here. But it's nice that it's salt water, I guess. No chlorine and it's a bit more, maybe it's a bit more fresher. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice depth as well. You can do proper lens here, can't you? Yeah. Okay, we have come for a little bit of respite out of this ridiculous humidity and heat. 33 degrees, 78% humidity. That calls for a nice cold beverage and we have come to Snapper Rocks, which is right at the waterfront. This new billion dollar renovation of Darwin is so nice to come down and relax. Um, and we got some chippies coming, obviously. One of the things that surprised us the most was how beautiful the beaches are around Darwin, but maybe more so the actual ocean. They're so blue, and sometimes when you go to a city you just expect the water around them to be a bit murky but here it's gorgeous uh, it's really tropical blue waters unfortunately though you can't really swim in the water here because they do have like the crocs and the stingers um, so not many people are actually on the beach it's more of a sunspot sunset location that's where everyone kind of flocks to the beach so it's much better to go to the lagoon but as you can see it's still very beautiful on a little sunset mission today and we've come down to Nightcliff and there's a little jetty here there's a nice cool breeze actually it's not cool that's a complete lie it's very warm <laughs> and humid bad. but it's got a breeze and we have come here for sunset because the sunset's looking beautiful in Darwin and we're going to try and capture more of them over the next few days but this is a beautiful spot over on the left we have all the rocks you got food and trucks. then on the right you have some food trucks there's some people exercising and it looks like locals come out here to watch the sunset excellent Okay, we have come to the 1934 Qantas hangar, um, built in 1934, it survived Cycling and Tracy, um, and this is where the motor vehicle enthusiast club's vehicles are stored. So lots of old engines and things to check out, and um, let's have a wander around. Maybe it's a replica, but if you found this really cool old car and you're allowed to come sit in it, then yeah, this would be nice and cool in the breeze, wouldn't it? Probably get burned. So if you like engines, if you like motors, if you like anything mechanical, put this one on your list. It is free to enter. Um, they do like to take donations so that they can continue to restore uh, all of these old vehicles. But yeah, cool place to check out. Something to do in Darwin and it's free. Tick. We have come to Fanny Bay Goal and this is the place where the last execution in Darwin took place. Uh, it was the Labour prison and it was a bit confused online, it said only open Wednesdays but we drove past and it's open today, it's Friday. So maybe there's a bit of a miscommunication there. But yeah, so this was the old prison and we're going to go and check it out. This is the separate confinement area if you were a danger or had maybe mental issues. So as far as prisons go, I don't think that this one was actually a very bad place to be. Aside from the um, capital punishment, um, there was actually quite a good uh, vibe in here. And in fact, one time they found that there was extra people here when they called the muster to sort of get a count of everyone who was here. There was the extra people, so people were breaking in because conditions in here were better than what they were in other parts of Darwin. Um, and the officers would play ball games with the prisoners. It seemed like not a bad time at all. We have come to East Point, and this is a strategic zone for wars. So uh, this is where they placed big guns, the largest in Australia. And we are gonna have a little look around. There's also the Defense of Darwin Museum here, which we may or may not go in. But um, yeah, let's have a look. So the big guns, um, there was a few delays on building them and in the Japanese raid in 1942 
I think. Um, they were not ready, so by the time they were ready, um, they were never actually used in anger, so too little too late, they say. And also at East Point, they have wallabies. We've not seen wallabies for a little while, but they are in Darwin City. And yeah, they're in the area of East Point, and you'll see a few wallaby signs around, but we have spotted a few hopping around. We've just stumbled across this cool little place. It is the Star Village. Um, it's like a little arcade, uh, but it's full of boutique stores, like people who do little like shoes and like hairdressers, artisan soaps. Um, there is a veggie shop and a chocolate store, uh, and there's also a little theatre in here as well, which um, looks like they show some pretty cool films. But yeah, lots of little laneways to explore around Darwin. We are finding. Cool little cafe. Very cool cafe, and it's full of sign vegan. You look like you're at a market. <laughs> yes, I'm at the market. We came back here because we wanted to go to Mindel Beach for sunset. We missed it, and that's when we wanted to round our time off here in Darwin. But I suddenly thought, I think this market's maybe still in unchecked, and they are. Thursdays and Sundays until the end of October, not the beginning of October. So we made it. We have got another chance to have some tasty food, but this time we're going to grab the food, go to the beach, and then the watch sunset. the sunset. <laughs> yes, yeah, the best part. Okay, we have gone back to the Sri Lankan, the trusty favourite, and we have got the potatoes again with veggie curry. So uh, we're going to enjoy that, watch the sun go down, and uh, then go and explore more of the market. Oh, I love the Mendel markets. I think it's a highlight of our stay in Darwin. Yeah. It's such a cool vibe. It just feels like we're back to normal. Like it feels like there's no pandemic going on. Um, everyone is out. It's like a backpacker vibe. Uh, enjoying the sunsets on the beach. It's just, it's beautiful. It's getting very beautiful now. And everyone is now starting to get to the beach. They're all bringing their chairs, staking their spot. Little crap! So, ah, I'm scared! So we have just had our sunset down here at Mindel Beach and it is so nice. The clouds are still changing colours and this is something that we always remember is to stay until after the sun's gone down and hang around because the colours, they just get better and better. It's always the rule with sunsets, wait until after the sun goes down. Because look at that, it's all changing now, this is the magic. Alright guys, I think that's it for our stay in Darwin. We hope that you enjoyed the vlog. Next stop is going to be some national parks. We're going to be here in Litchfield, Kakadu. I'm going to go back down to Catherine and explore some of the waterfalls there. And then we'll be heading to WA. So we've got a lot to come and we'll see you then.